This tutorial will illustrate how to pre-assign examinations to candidates in preparation for computer-based testing. To do that, go into Archive and select My Inventory, then select Assign Inventory. Next, you'll be prompted to select the account name. Now, the account name is either the Accredited Assessment Center or sub-account from which you'd like to draw the inventory to pre-assign to the candidate. Then you'll select the test that you wish to pre-assign. There will be a tab that indicates pre-assigned keys to candidate. Select that tab and then enter the candidate information such as the candidate ID, first and last name. You can then review the pre-filled information to make sure that it's accurate and then press Assign Key. The system will first check to make sure that the candidate is eligible to take the test and will indicate the next available testing date. Then the test can be assigned to the candidate. So from within Archive, I'll select My Inventory. I'll go down to Assign Inventory. I'll then select the account from the drop-down menu. I'll select the Find Inventory menu button. I'll then scroll down. Now on the left is a list of the existing inventory within this particular assessment location. You'll notice that there are eight or nine exams listed. If I look at the two columns, I have a CBT column, which is computer-based test, and I also have a paper column. You'll notice that I have some that are computer and some that are paper. This system can only pre-assign computer tests to candidates. However, the paper are indicated so that the administrator can determine whether or not to administer or give a paper test in lieu of going out and ordering a computer test so that they might more efficiently use their inventory. To assign a computer test, I will select the examination by clicking on the exam name. I'll then select the pre-assigned keys to candidates tab. I'll enter the candidate's ID number, and their first and last name. I'll then press the check retest eligibility button. It indicates today's date, which shows that the test can be administered today. I'll then select assign key. You'll notice that the inventory now shows that there is one less sample exam, 2013, available. Now, you know the test has not been administered yet, so it's important to understand that this list simply indicates the tests that have not been pre-assigned to individuals. At this point, I could assign another test to the same candidate by selecting a different test and entering the same candidate information. And once again, checking the retest eligibility and assigning the key. It's very simple. So a candidate could be assigned multiple tests in advance of administering the test. However, they can only take the tests that uh, for which they're eligible to take. Uh, you can assign tests to candidates that are not yet eligible to take the test simply to do the administrative work. But when it comes time to administer the test, those tests will not be available. Other information that's currently shown, testing for, this is a field that's used to indicate the accredited assessment center for which the candidate is taking the test. We default that your particular assessment center is the one which is the for which the test is being given, but you might be asked by a different accredited assessment center to give a test on their behalf, and if you do, you can select the name of that accredited assessment center in this particular field, and then that would allow them to likewise see the testing results. The Account postal code is the zip code or postal code for the location where the test will be administered and the candidate testing center is this particular testing location.